and welcome to what is going to be my office. I apologize for it being echoey, but there is nothing in here right now except for two chairs and a trash can. Because someone, not me, kept spilling candy on the floor. <laughs> so, um, I apologize for it being echoey, but I'll let Marcus step into the center, center of the room and do a 360 because he's holding the camera. And then I'm going to talk you through my plans that I'm figuring out as we go. We do, did do have a plan for what we're going to want, and I am sticking with this being an office. But I am a bit stuck as to how I want to decorate it, or what I want to put where. Because I mentioned in this vlog that I'll link up here, that I don't really know what I want in this room, apart from my desk and chair and a clothing rack. I want more, <laughs> but I don't know what I need or want in this room. So I'm trying to figure that out right now, and then I told Mark is why don't we have the camera? So you're welcome for now, get to be a part of this. So as far as we've gotten now, I'm going to talk you through my very smart things here that Mark is laughing about. Uh, I have two nice large windows. One is here, and one is over there. After we, you know, won the bidding of the house and bought the house before we got access to the house, I was thinking that I did not want to put my desk in front of a window because backlight or like light in my face and then looking at screens and straining my eyes and such. So then I was thinking I was going to put my desk here and I could have like a pin board or art or stuff on the wall above as inspiration or a kick in the butt or whatever I needed. But then we got back here yesterday and there was a window and there was a view and there was niceness and I didn't particularly want to not be able to look at this. And then I said the very smart thing that I do not want this to be my desk window because if I sit here, there are two reasons. One, if I sit here and someone walks in through the door, which is currently just an opening, but it's going to be a door. It has hinges that we're going to, we have a door in the basement. Uh, I didn't want to have this be my desk window in case someone just walks in. I don't like having someone being able to look over my shoulder like that and I also get very scared when someone just walks in from behind me or from beside me. Plus the second thing is this is where we have a very nice porch and where at least in summertime we'll hopefully be entertaining guests as it were and I didn't want to you know Mark is having guests over and he's hanging out with those I'm just sitting here staring at them through a window or it'll look like I'm staring at them. So then I thought of this lovely window and I started talking about that with Marcus. But then he pointed out if this was a bad place because people could walk in behind you or over your shoulder, how is this any better when the door is there? You are now in the door and this is where I would be working. Um, no. Plus, it's the whole thing of do I want to block what I think is a very nice view with screens because yes I can see through them and I might be able to see over them but it's still the window screens. Then I have the idea and that's when the camera arrives so this is as far as I've gone. What if I take the desk and instead of having it like that I turn it like this. This is the length of the desk. Um, so it short end against the window long short because it's a square desk that's how shapes work and then i could sit here i would get the natural lights i can also just look to the side and see out the window my screens would be sort of here so they would not be blocking that it would block the view a bit from where you're standing but you're not going to stand in this room so it's fine uh, and then i have a wall behind me so as i was saying if i sit here that wall is very far away from me so whatever arts or 
whatever I put on it, it's going to be very tiny. But if I'm sitting here and I'm filming something, whatever I put here is very, I can touch this wall, I'm very close to it, and I think that might look nicer. That's as far as we got, and then the camera came out. So now you're going to be part of this, as we are part of this. So what I want, and I'm also going to talk to Marcus behind the camera. I will what? try to not talk very loudly so the um, audio is not weird. Right. I'm never going to talk to you and to Marcus behind the camera because now I need input and you guys are really quiet for some reason. So what I want in here is the desk and chair. It's a clothing rack and sort of shelf for that. I'm going to try to look at you and not at you. And then I said or I thought that I wanted a comfy chair, an armchair. I'm not used to standing and filming, it's very weird. <laughs> Uh, an armchair or something, and maybe a small bookshelf. And I've been thinking of that as both a reading corner, and the shelf could contain my TBR, maybe some um, craft books, stuff like that, a candle and a plushie. You know, both be aesthetic and functional. And I don't want to put that here, if my desk is going to be here, because then I'm just going to run into it with my chair. Could, I suppose, put it further this way, it's now being the shelf. But then the shelf and chair won't be together, which is very sad. Behind you are two corners, because that's not... Until that is close, that is not a very functioning corner. I could, I guess, put something here. We're not going to use this door anyway, but I think you might feel a bit weird. But here we have one corner, and there, there, and there we have one corner. This corner is bigger, there's more wall here, and then I'm thinking I have like a chair. I don't know why I always want to put a chair in the corner, but like a chair here, which would probably mean a bookshelf or a dresser or something here. Probably a bookshelf. If I want to put books in it, I want them visible and not in drawers. Um, that could work, I think. Yeah. And then I want the clothing. Uh, situation. I want the clothing rack and maybe some sort of shelf or dresser or something here. Um, I have a clothing rack, it was in a backdrops in some videos back in like 2019, 2020, and it's good. It does not hold all of my clothes, however, but it holds enough. But I don't really want to have like knit, knitwear on it, sweaters and stuff. So then I might want to have folded. And then I'm wondering if I want to have them folded in an open something, a shelf or something, or in drawers, or even in a wardrobe. Should we point out that you will have to have most of all most of your clothes yes. here because we don't have room in the bedroom. Yes, we are gonna have a very small bedroom, which is what we want. Uh, the bed is gonna hold our beds and our nightstands, and that's it. And made a PJs. That's the level of of that. And that's fine. I, I wouldn't mind having my clothes in here, but I need to figure out a system for it. I have considered getting a freestanding wardrobe. I have been considering getting a, not a built-in, but like a big sound, structurally sound wardrobe. Um, but that's very big and expensive. We were left a dresser and a very small wardrobe like that big with shelves in it, although it's a little bit broken, so it needs to be fixed, but Teresa knows woodworking, so there's that. So I don't really know, but I'm thinking clothing would go here, but you now have a thought. What's your thought? We do have a uh, standalone wardrobe, which we were it. intending to have um, in, the bedroom. in the bedroom, but it won't fit. Yeah, I thought about it. Yeah. Yeah. I've used that before as a wardrobe. It is very good for things you want folded, and it does have an open section. Because I'm thinking sometimes I might want to... I've been thinking that I might want to be able to see, like, these are my sweaters. And, like, because it's winter, um, have those sweaters visible, and, like, they would be on the rack, just not having them hanging on the rack. And then I guess I could use the uh, door side and the drawer and small drawers um, for some off-season stuff, maybe. It could work. I'm not 100% sold, but I'm thinking clothes on this side at least. 
but I kind of like a full length mirror, although there is one in the hallway that is very small. Is there one? No, it's one in the other hallway. We have two hallways. Uh, kind of would like a mirror, because if I'm gonna get dressed here, that would make sense. And then I also have that secret project that I mentioned in this vlog, again linked above, that also requires some space that I would like to have in this room. And I'm not entirely certain where that space will be. Also, my belt is just not working with me today, so I apologize for closing it repeatedly. Um, but that also means that we have a lot of floor, because I have a big room. And it's a nice floor, I will say, it's a good floor. I'm also, just want to point out, that we're only wearing shoes because it's cold. We don't wear shoes indoors. Marcus is wearing slippers, they're indoor shoes. These are my gym shoes, meaning they are clean. I do not wear shoes indoors, but we've been down into our very cold basement, that is why. Yes, but there is a lot of floor, and I've been thinking about rugs or carpet, like not carpet, carpet, the kind that is common in the US, but like rugs and soft and nice. I don't want that where the desk is, because I don't want to run over it with a chair and get, you know, get fluff stuck in the wheels. But I want this room to be cozy, which is also partially why I want the sitting um, the chair, we don't have a chair for it, so unless you keep the chair up in your office and I take our chair. Or vice versa. But that is currently what the office is. I also do want to do something about the walls themselves. Um, there are some scuffs, there are some, you know, it, it's been lived in and that's perfectly fine. That's good that people have lived here and enjoyed it. But I want to do something about the walls, I'm just not sure what yet. And many, many, many moons ago, we, Marcus and I, were streaming and we used a floral timer. It was a yellow background and tons of colorful flowers, kind of realistic looking flowers, not perfumish. And ever since then, I've said that's a good wallpaper. It isn't a wallpaper, but it would be a good wallpaper, minus the giant numbers on it, of course. And I had an idea before we moved in here, I had it like a couple months ago, I had the idea of having a What's it called? Uh, one wall, an accent wall, and um, with my plan back then was like a, a yellow wallpaper with tons of flowers on it, which doesn't seem to exist. And then I wanted purple on the other ones. I got very attached to this idea, and I don't know if that's what I wanted to do. And I also want I want this room to be cozy. I want it to be somewhat aesthetic, maybe, but I don't know what aesthetic. Because I like how dark academia looks, I like how cottage core looks, I like a lot of different things. I have four walls, so I can have one for each thing, I suppose. But I'm not really sure what I want to do with that. I also, in a way, I do like it being neutral. I mean, as it is right now, I could cover up, you know, the, the marks and stuff as it is right now, and it will be fully functioning until I already is full functioning, but until I decide what to do with it. Again, neutral is good for light bouncing off of it, and I do like filling, so therefore that would be good. But I don't know, I am torn. Marcus, do you have an opinion on the walls? They are good to have. Thank you. You're welcome. That was beautifully put. Yeah. I also, when we did the little spin around and we talked about this could be that corner, like with that corner, this corner was never assigned a certain job. It's this, doing a great job as a corner. This could be a good chair corner, but then there would probably be a bookshelf next to it. Uh, but like, here I wouldn't feel like someone would just, I mean, you can, you can see that I'm holding a book, but you know, could work as a chair corner, but then I want to do, I just want to have a lone bookshelf over here. Probably not. Hmm. Um, okay, so going back over here, without actually having put the furniture in, having this as a desk place feels good. Without actually having the furniture here. Having this as a desk floating. How, how are you going to have it as a desk if the furniture is not here? <laughs> having the desk here and my chair, and then I can put some writery art or other arts. I'm gonna put things on the walls, guys. Uh, on this wall as a backdrop for when I'm filming vlogs would be good. 
do I want to film all of my Nerd with Nerd videos there? Or do I want to film some of them in the chair wherever I end up going? Probably not there, so there. I don't know. I don't know. And I like I, I am accepting of the idea of, of moving in, getting settled, and then getting a feel for what works and what doesn't work. But I would also like to have more patience, and I do not. So therefore, I would just like to you know, set things up where I want them. But with that being said, even if I set everything up in the perfect place and it all feels good, once I potentially eventually decide, potentially eventually, decide to do the floor or the walls, I'm gonna have to unfurnish and then put things back in. So, yeah. But that's what I have for now, and then I will report back at some point, I guess. Maybe show you what it looks like when we have all the boxes in here, maybe. I don't know. Bye! Hello, and good morning. It is the 5th of October today. It's like 9.20 in the morning, and the movers finished up at, I think, 10 last night. At which point we were operating off of, like, four hours of sleep, if we're being generous. And so when they left, we just kind of crashed took a nice long shower, dug up our bed clothes, and that was about it. If you hear cats screaming, they're about to get their breakfast, that's why. I'm also very tired still, I didn't get the most sleep I've ever had, but it was still so much better than the night before. And uh, yeah, I just want to give you a quick tour of what my office looks like right now, because um, there was a mishaps yesterday, which means I have a couch because the couch and also Teresa's bed did not fit up the stairs. So I'm gonna just pan you around the room right now. This is just things having been put in. Most of it is not gonna be in this room, but they needed a place to be. So I'm gonna show you that real quick and then feed the cats and then have my own breakfast because obviously the hierarchy of things. All right, so there's a big red cross on that door to not open it because the cats are in that room. I'm gonna go back over to the door, actually. The door to my room. So here we have boxes and we have my desk, which is not gonna sit there, probably, but it's where it ended up. Uh, my breakfast over there is a banana, a glass of milk and a cinnamon roll because I couldn't find our bread. I think it's in the other freezer. And that's our kitchen table. So that's not gonna be in here. It's gonna be in there. But that's where the cats are. Um, couch, that is not supposed to be in here, but I might rework my plan. Wardrobe, that I think is going to be in here. Um, kitchen chairs, more boxes, uh, a lamp that's probably not going to be in here. This table was left behind by the previous owner. And the cat tree, which is also not going to be in here. Now let's go feed some cats. <laughs> is it breakfast time? Yeah. Hello! Newly showered editing Matilda here to tell you that it's the 18th of October as I'm filming this update and I've filmed a lot more about the office setup. I am still in the office where I'm, I am again in the office. I haven't stayed in here for, you know, 13 days non-stop. But I have filmed a lot more, but this video would at this point be like two hours long. I haven't edited through it all. I've edited up until the point you've just seen, but I don't want to put out a video that is quite that long, so I'm going to end this here and have this be part one. And there is going to be at least part two and part three to this. They will be out in the coming weeks, is my plan. The coming weeks of this video going up, not the coming weeks of this clip being filmed. I have plans. I hope to get part one, two and three all out in November. Eventually, there most likely will be a part four once I decide if and what I'm gonna do about the walls, if I'm gonna paint them or put wallpaper up or something. But for now, this is all I have to share with you, so thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another video soon, and I hope to see you then. Bye!